Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Also, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to install Heredactyl in your Paradactyl panel. Yeah, tongue twister, I know. Anyway, so this video, I'll be teaching you the bare bone of how to install it to just to set it up for your website and stuff like that. So I'll be teaching you the basic and then the, cause, um, and then you can set everything on the settings down below as has all the information you need to configure your, your Heredactyl panel. So let's get started. So first, make sure you have a Paradactyl panel already with your node up and running and stuff like that, including all of the things, including the API stuff like that. We're going to use this also for your Paradactyl panel, so we'll get that started. So first of all, we're going to open our uh, Bitbytes and then we're going to SSH to our client. So there you go, we got to SSH. And then using the, the install guide, we're going to skip the first one and we go directly to the direct method. So first we're going to install that, we're going to do sudo s and then we're going to do right click and then that will install the um, requirement, then we're going to do a control shift p or just close it and then reopen it, we're going to copy this and then install node.js to 6, but if it says that just do apt install npm sudo s, there you go. And now once it says um, default to 16, it means it's already up and running. So I'll do node-b and you see 16.20.1. So next we're going to copy this, right click and I'll paste it. And there you go. And now I'm going to install this. The modules. Just wait for it to install. And once it's installed, we're going to go here and do right click that and go and do this. So all the... Um, required so if you have no error then it means it's all good if you do have an error when you do it i highly suggest you um, make the virtual machine over again just throw it again from scratch so you get it up and running again but once you get wait no error at all just warn it that's a normal fine so we're gonna skip this part and we go straight to setting up the web server so copy highlight this and then right click press enter and there you go and i'm gonna do this Right click and end, and then that that will run two commands at the same time. Make sure it save time. And we highlight this, and we and put your domain that you want to um, host for your Heredactyl panel. Right click, press one, and then you're gonna wait for it to um, obtain the new certificate. If it asks you to put your email, you can put your email, any email really. That's really matter. And now, we're going to open a notepad, and there you go, we have a notepad. The reason being that we're going to configure it into here. Just right click that, and then on the domain, we're just going to cut, you just put client that your domain, copy this, and then replace all of them with say domain to your, to your domain client. 2500.002, so that's the port that we're going to be using, so as usually that's a default port, so I just to keep that port as it is. And once you got it all done, just copy that. Go to nano. Go to SSH. Copy that and it says new file. I'm gonna copy this and then right click to paste it. And then control X, Y, and then enter. And there you go, you got it all up and running. And now I'm gonna do a system reset. There you go. And then now I'm going to test out the server. So we're gonna, first we're going to install PM2. So right click and install PM2G. I'll install um, PM2 for your... Um, since we're using Node.js, we can actually install using um, PM2 instead of um, screen. So once it's done, you can just right click that. We'll go to that directory in case if you are not in there. Copy this. And then that will start running the Heredactyl panel. So once it says online, now we're going to go to your DNS record. And then we're going to go make a new record and put client. And then followed by your IP of your virtual machine and click save. So once your once your client is done, just um, we start your um, PM2. And then now we go to the domain. And there you go. It says authentication welcome. So before we progress to that um to that section, we're gonna do chmod777 and then start. 
reason we're doing that so we can actually access it to SSTP and we can just edit the files inside there. So don't have to put extra work on that. Copy this, copy paste that. And then now we're going to go to the setting, the JSON, and then right click and then edit. And this will um, bring up to this section. So once you're in this section, you can edit what, what's, uh, what you need for your client. So I'm going to put the domain. And for the key, you go to application key on your product panel, create new, and then read, write, and everything. Just read and write and everything. Call this, call this um, add, so, there you go, and then we're going to right copy this, and then we're going to copy and paste it to the key. Change the secret to whatever secret you want, so for business all purposes, I'll go default secret. Then you can customize whatever you want on here, like you can change the link first, you can check the store, you can enable strip, you can have database on your thing, J4R, if I don't know what that is. But if you want to set up your bot, Discord bot to your server, stuff like that, you can give them roles if you have it um, registered to your thing. Keep this on, always keep this on. Yeah, always ha have this on. And this part, that will be in the important part. This is for your, allow people to join to your, um, use your client. So we're going to set this up. So go to your Discord um, developer application. Go to the authentication tool. You can click that. Copy the ID, so right here. And then on the secret, we're going to copy the secret. And then you copy the secret thing. Don't worry, I'll reset that. So once you copy the secret, then on the link, it says HTTP client. Put your um your client so your client uh, uh your domain so that's gonna be there and then on the redirects you're gonna copy paste this and then as well as the callback so it should be http your domain and then forward slash callback should be there click save changes and that should be good and now go back to your authentication actually go back to your ssh and then type here until we start, we're going to save the, um, the uh, client. So we start that again, and now it should be work. So we'll refresh and click login, and it should bring it to your um, your bot and stuff like that. So click authorize, and that will authorize to you to the client. And there you go, you got your Heredactyl panel all set up, ready to go. You can check your server and stuff like that. You can. Deploy and stuff like that. You can um, access the panel if you want. Stuff like that. Pretty simple, not hard. And then just we can get. You can set up the resource if you want to set it up. Everything will be under the um, the setting JSON. So everything you need to edit will be all in this um, JSON file. So that's that's all I'm gonna teach you guys for today. And I hope you. Enjoy the video and I'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.